way as I was getting older. But, you know, about 2016, I, I don't know if I had a waking or epiphany or what. I was driving my school bus and I slammed on the brakes. Like, what the fuck <laughs> am I doing? Excuse my baby. No, Nah, I ain't never seen that. Uh, if, you, if you watch that movie, it, it's, it's a part in there where they went and they found lost souls and they put the soul back in the body and the dude stopped in the middle of what he was doing. He was a, uh, he was a, um, you know, he worked on Wall Street. He said, there's no other life than this. He started running around his office and then he left. And had a good life after that. Like seriously, I swear, I feel like that was that happened to me. Wow. Because <laughs> I've been I, I've been searching for something else to do since 2016. Right. You know, of course, I didn't want to just go out and quit my job. <laughs> you know. No, you know, don't do that. Because I got my kids. You know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, 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 yeah, I was like, I've been looking for something else to do, and I was just like. You know, and that's when I that's when I went out and I did Uber and Lyft, and I made a, I made good money. It's just it got dangerous around here. Mm-hmm. You know, I started getting called down in dark alleys and stuff. I was like, oh no, oh no. I was like, I'm going down there. You know, <laughs> you know like, I was like, I, I, I was look. If, if I got close and it got too dark, I, I can cancel. Because <laughs> you know, even though even though I packed my gun and all that stuff, I still didn't want to put myself in something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? But I, I really do appreciate you uh, calling me and we uh know that my name is Dominic Nichols and I will be on your roster soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I will be on your roster soon. So if you don't have nobody in Fort Worth in Dallas, Fort Worth yet, you about to. <laughs> okay. All okay. right. We're gonna be uh, waiting for you. So as soon as I get my money, as and I'm so glad I found you because I was like, I was looking, I was like, coaches, you know. Teach me how to do this, and I was on YouTube. And it was like you can find everything on YouTube. And I when I asked when I went looking, I finally found you. Awesome, I awesome. I went through a lot of people. I was like, no, nah, I don't resonate with them. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> so I found somebody. Okay. Well, it'll be my pleasure. It'll be my pleasure. You, okay. you just work with you guys. Yeah, just let me know whenever you're ready, okay? We we, okay. we ready for you. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, so your accent um when I first started my company, we decided to implement carpet cleaning in it and is this something that I just magically knew how to do or um or did I just learn learning as I as I went along, correct? Correct. Well, usually what I do is I contract my workout. Like I could not tell you how to do a carpet. I, I don't know. Um, but what I did was I found people that were more skilled in that area and I subcontract all of the carpet cleans to them. Yeah. Well, thank you mm-hmm. for that info. I'm going to try to get signed up for one of your courses. I've been following your uh, channel for a while. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, definitely. The master course is, is really uh it has everything. It has the answer to all these questions that, that people ask on the regular. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Is this Mr. Charles? Yes, this is. How you doing, Charles? This is Mrs. I'm doing Johnson. Pretty good. How about you? I'm calling for your consultation call. Is now still a good time for you? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Now, before we begin, I'm just going to let you know that you are on a recorded line for marketing purposes. How can I help you today, Charles? Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll say, it's one main thing. I went, my main issue right now uh, is trying to figure out pricing. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll get answers, but they're never definitive. Okay. Um, when you're pricing, you got to keep in mind time, right? And you also need to keep in mind um, your products, your solutions, you know, whatever you need uh, to get that job done. You need to have all of that stuff, you know, in mind for this quote. Okay. Um, if you're going to be outsourcing this workout to people, you got to have the, you got to have 
you have to pay these people, right? So you got to think about that as well whenever you're thinking about um, a price. So, okay, my next question would be, um, is the price high enough for you to bid that, I mean, to for you to source that work out to someone else so that you don't have to do it? Good. That's a good question. I don't, I don't even know how to gauge. That's how, that's how much of us newbie. I just kind yeah. of fell into this and now I'm kind of ex- I'm getting kind of excited about it. Right, right, but this is good. This is called the entrepreneurial journey that you're on. So, this is when this is the part when you don't get frustrated and back out because you're scared and don't know the answers, you know? This is the part. This is the exciting part where you you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, trying to figure out the answers, you know? You know. So, you just really have to you got to think about replacing yourself in the future. You know, you you know you're going to have to replace yourself soon. So you just have to bid it high enough to be able to slide somebody else in there and pay them $15 an hour to do it. That'll give you an idea. And um, another tip is to like use use the calculated cleaning app. I always suggest people to just go ahead and download that app. Um, If you follow AJ Simmons, I know you're pretty sure you're aware of it, but uh, that's what I use whenever I'm bidding for commercial. That's funny you said. I was, I've been thinking about <laughs> using that. Yeah, so. yeah, that's that's what I use. I, whenever I'm bidding on commercial, I mean, people ask me all the time, like, I got this big 4,000 square foot building, da, 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 da. Listen, if I had a 4,000 square foot building, I would use the app. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know? What the app does is it will tell you, it will give you a, a number to um, like a, a quote to work around. And you could, you don't have to go with the number. You can work around that number. You know what I mean? So, I mean, all you have to do is put in, put in, yeah, you'll put in the square footage, put in how many windows, how many bathrooms, you know, you just put the information in there and the app gives you a number. Not only that, but you can also send off a proposal right from your phone that's how dope this app is yeah that sounds good yeah you should check it out just some that. that's just about a few the most tips. information i got <laughs> in a long time yeah. i even got a number i'm like man i've been searching everywhere you can't get nothing definitive yeah um, yeah, yeah that's that's good information